Dr. Perlman created the ANDI index, uh, I mean the aggregate nutrient density index, to show how popular foods stack up in terms of micronutrient density per calorie. The more nutrient dense food you consume, the more you will be satisfied with fewer calories. How many calories in water? Zero. Is it a nutrient? Yes. In and of itself, it is a nutrient. What is its nutrient density? Zero. Zero. Infinity. <laughs> Which? Oh, no. Infinity. Well. It's per calorie. Yeah. Nutrients per calorie. And there's no calories. Error. Error. Cannot divide by zero. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Does not compute. Oh, that's not a good start. It's not a good start for Dr. Furman, I don't think. How about let's try another one? Vitamin A tablet. Zero calories. Probably. Does it have nutrients? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's its nutrient density? Infinity. Yeah, no calories. Ah. Uh, oh, that's. It's a weird Therefore, theory. supplements. He supplements. Made this up, right? Yeah. Yeah. He made Why did he make this up? To sell supplements. No. He made this up to support his diet. Mm. Avocados on a scale with whole wheat bread. That just doesn't make sense. Yeah, because... Avocados on the, is, is considered about the same as chicken. Apples are considered... I mean, oh, it's just... Pineapple on apple. Wow, really low. Really low. Almost all fruit. A broccoli is something you would have Never. to cook to not upset your stomach too much. Unless you take a broccoli and turn it into broccoli butter, in which case it's rather nice. I should make broccoli butter someday. Is that pureeing it? Yeah, use an Esplade and add avocado is until you have broccoli. Oh my god, broccoli oh, butter? Oh, with avocado, of course. <laughs> I used to make a salad. Turn it into a stick of green butter. Yeah, wow. Broccoli butter. Yeah. I used to hey, it's a so salad. good. A salad with broccoli, avocado, and lemon. It was really good. Okay, so artichoke is high, right? Yeah. Ever try raw artichoke? Like, can you even eat it? Raw artichoke? Yeah. No. No. You cannot eat raw artichoke any more than yeah. you can eat raw sweet potato. Exactly. You can eat one bite of raw sweet potato if you cut it into noodles and have a, a bite of a sweet potato noodle. You can't yeah. eat that much, but then you pretty much hit your limit. Does it not taste good? I've never because tried it. You can't I've break it down. It's pure starch. Uh, yeah. How much starch digesting enzymes do you have? Where's protein no, powder? It's not made up. No, he made it up. He made it up. The, the, Joel the made it up. It's the calculation. The calculation, he made it up. The oh. standards he made up. He just oh. decided that. Yeah. He, he, said, right. he said, which foods do I want to be highest on my list now let me come up with a formula that will allow me to put those foods high on my list he said what foods do i eat how can i make them look the most nutritious what if he's right <laughs> maybe this maybe. is where we got sidetracked the other day the conversation got sidetracked if you wanted science a hundred years ago, where did you go? To Germany. You went to Germany. Nutrition is a new science a hundred years ago. Who starts figuring out nutrition? German scientists. How do they figure out what's good nutrition? To this day, how is it done? It certainly was done the same way then. They looked at the standard German diet. Yeah. Black pudding, blood porridge, or whatever it's called, <laughs> knockwurst and sausage of a hundred years ago. Let's remember, we're not talking today. We're talking a hundred years ago, standard German diet, almost all animal and a little bit of starch. There was no fruit coming in from Israel jet fresh. Yeah. Was 
a luxury to have oranges and pineapples. Maybe a rich person might eat an orange once a year. Imported by ship. Nobody's buying cases. Or train. Yeah. Yeah. Just didn't happen. The standard German diet. And then they evaluated the nutrient characteristics of the standard German diet and said, that's what's good for us. Joel looked at the nutrient content of his diet and said, the things I eat are the most nutritious. Give me a formula for that. And he came up with this formula. I have done the exact same thing. I have postulated that we do best on fruits and vegetables, giving you various rationales as to why that is so. Considered that Goldilocks got it right, and the lessons we learned as kids about Goldilocks told us that we didn't want deficiencies and we didn't want excesses of any particular nutrient. Joel's nutrition chart is based on the concept that more equates with better, most equates with best. Therefore, why are vitamin A tablets not on the thing? That's Every whole food, huh? He didn't say whole food. None of the cooked foods are whole. Popular food. I mean, a vitamin A tablet is not a food. Why not? It is if you go out in outer space. They feed astronauts supplements constantly. Still a supplement, not a food. They, they, they do MREs for all the soldiers all the way around the world. That's their meal. I've had this conversation, Frederick. You want to take me on, but you're going to have to go some. But tell me that... Tell, slide through, slide through that thing a little bit. Tell me that... Oh, man. The Brussels sprouts, he's talking about eating raw Brussels sprouts? Because nobody does that. Like you said, raw broccoli, raw cauliflower, raw asparagus. Raw, how many other things on that list before he even gets to the starches? Right? He, he's trying to convince me that cooked food mm -hmm. is not an oxymoron. Mm -hmm. Because there's no creature in nature that eats cooked and considers it food, not as their natural diet. Oh, I have some learned from us. Yes, there's smart creatures out there mimicking us. But, but as if cooked and food is not an oxymoron, I think it full well has to be considered an oxymoron. More is, more is better. He's saying more is better. Why, the, why would kale be like the most nutritious food? How much kale Frederick mono on kale how much kale do you have to eat per day say what mono on kale how much kale do you have to eat per day uh, probably 30 kilograms what's your chances of getting through 30 kilograms of kale a day if I blend it I could probably double down up to two kilograms if I'm brave so you're gonna eat one 15th of your calorie requirements for the day. I would be starving. On kale. Everything that he's telling me is most nutritious foods on the planet. You can't eat them. No. Well, how nutritious can they be if you can't eat them? But I did the exact same thing. I said, I started with those two ideas. I said, if I want to know the nutrient value of foods, I would start with our natural diet. I would say we're designed to eat fruits and vegetables. Therefore, fruits and vegetables that supply us with the nutrient contents that most closely mimic our needs. It's a shoe that fits. Those are the most nutritious foods. Uh, I, I can be, you know, accused of the same thing. But I'll win in an argument because his argument makes no sense whatsoever. Yeah, it's highly inconsistent. Yeah. It's I mean riddled with problems.